Okay, good old guys. Walking on crawls and bashes here. Um, I'm looking to do a weathered look on this. I know there's plenty of videos on uh, YouTube, but um, well, I've been watching a few and I'm going to do it my way. Because <laughs> I can't be bothered going through all the other videos that people are doing. But I've, I'm going to paint this on the outside, but first of all, I'm going to give it a coat of paint on the inside, and that coat of paint is going to be um, a copper finish. Being that one there, copper. So a quick rundown. Basic. So I've I didn't have stickers for the windows, so I've masked off the windows on the inside. Because for the moment, I'm just going to be doing the inside. Still got the plastic on the outside. Uh, the clear clear coat. So going to get a couple of coats of copper all through the inside probably a pretty heavy coat um, that way when I do what I'm going to do on the outside um, that's going to be a kind of part of the weathered look coming through from the inside Colour. Okay guys, so now the idea is that um, I'm going to do my two tone, I'm going to do white the top half and uh, I've got a mustard I think it is. Okay so those two are the next ones, so white above the centre line and uh, this um, mustard yellow is going to be along the bottom. Now those two, yeah, they're going on the outside. And so the idea is then that that's underneath. And then once I do this white on the top, mustard down the bottom, I'm going to sand back in a few spots around the edges just in selected places so that copper comes through and looks like rust but it's not going to have that chunky look about it uh, that you know rust gives um, I don't really want that I just want that weathered look so then I'll be sanding it back and then I'll probably hit it with some satin finish okay so just decided to back that copper with a bit of black um, just so that it's because when I sat it on the rig, you could see some of the items still coming through. So I've given it a, a bit of a backing with black, just to um, yeah make that a bit richer. And it changes the shade of the copper from a little lighter to a little darker in a few patches as well. So quick hit with black. Okay, all bandaged up. Um, ready for the mustard around the bottom just use kitchen paper which uh yeah that's all i had so i think it'll do the job all right
Okay, that's basically the, the finished product, what you're looking at right there. Just used one of these sanding pads that we have here in Australia. Probably get them all around the world. Um, we use them in the plastering game for all the, the hand finishing. Um, but because they've got two, they've got a rough side and a smoother side. And it's really just a matter of, you know, just giving it a light rub here and there until you're kind of happy with the finish. Um, I think I'm happy with the finish. It needs, it actually needs a wash to get all the, the powder off and then I'm going to give it a clear coat. I'm thinking I might take it back a bit more, bring a bit more copper through. I've uh, just been looking at different patina finishes on different trucks and some of them have an awful lot of the rust look coming through. Um, but that, that copper doesn't appear as like really rusty unless you I think you need to have maybe that um, use that salt finish that some of them use in the videos to give it a bit of a chunkier look underneath uh, give the copper a chunkier look but for me just a bit of surface rust here and there on the doors a bit of wear and tear I think it looks really good um, but anyway let me know what you think in the comments um, I'm, I'm really happy with that and the, the good thing is you can actually change these colors if you want like I could do another like a light blue or something maybe over that might go with this gray um, let me see what it is it's oh there you go it's it's coarser gray I thought it was ochre gray but it's coarser gray PS32 is what I used on the top um, but yeah you could change this to another color and then sand that back and again you'll get a similar effect but you'll just have a couple of different colors coming through which I reckon would look really cool so you might see that down the track on this rig um, but yeah that's basically that's basically it so um, sorry about the noise we've got a storm going on at the moment which is always the way it's usually when I do videos when we've got a storm going on um, but that's it the, the lighting is pretty average in here but, so I might just turn it around so you get a look at the other side same deal just how I've done it and around the back I haven't actually done a lot around the back but, but there you have it so uh, anyway guys Thanks for watching and until the next video, um, yeah, keep on rocking and keep on crawling.